Welcome back to Sun Bitcoin, where we dive deep into the latest and most intriguing stories from around the globe. Today, we're uncovering a situation that's causing ripples across Canada and beyond. The Royal Canadian Navy's new Arctic ships, the Arctic and Offshore Patrol Ships, or AOPS, are facing serious challenges. Let's set sail into this stormy sea of controversy. Royal Canadian Navy ships designed for patrolling Canada's Arctic regions, as well as conducting surveillance and security operations in offshore waters. These vessels represent a significant part of Canada's national shipbuilding strategy, aiming to enhance the country's ability to assert sovereignty over its northern waters, support international commitments, and provide a versatile platform capable of conducting a wide range of missions. The AOPs are specifically designed to navigate through ice-covered waters, offering the Canadian Armed Forces improved capabilities for operations in the Arctic. They are equipped with modern technology and systems to perform surveillance and reconnaissance, sea lift operations, search and rescue missions, and environmental response, among other tasks. Their design includes reinforced hulls for ice navigation, versatile cargo spaces, and facilities to support helicopters. The lead ship in this class, HMCS Harry DeWolf, was delivered to the Royal Canadian Navy as the first of these next-generation patrol ships, marking a significant milestone in Canada's maritime defense capabilities. The AOPS project aims to deliver a total of six ships for the Royal Canadian Navy, with options for additional vessels to support the Canadian Coast Guard. These ships play a crucial role in ensuring Canada's presence and operational effectiveness in its northern and offshore territories, contributing to national security, emergency response, and the enforcement of laws in its maritime zones. Picture this. State-of-the-art naval ships designed to patrol the vast and icy Arctic waters, a beacon of national pride and sovereignty. The Canadian government, under the National Shipbuilding Strategy, invested almost $5 billion in these six ships, constructed by Irving Shipbuilding. But the voyage hasn't been smooth sailing. Sailors aboard the HMCS Harry DeWolf have reported significant flooding, leading to a salty sauna environment that causes excessive corrosion. The culprit, a design flaw where the anchor cable enters the ship. But that's not all. The ships have faced mechanical failures, anchor issues, and even drinking water contamination with high levels of lead. Imagine being on a ship where you can't trust the water you drink or rely on the anchors to hold firm. And here's a kicker. The ships came with a one-year warranty. Yes, you heard that right. Most of the repair bills are falling squarely on the taxpayer's shoulders. The Navy and Irving Shipbuilding have labeled these problems as teething issues common in new ships. But many, including retired naval officers, argue that flooding, anchor failures, and water contamination are far from normal. Despite these challenges, the Navy and Irving Shipbuilding highlight the AOPS's successes and insist that ongoing repairs and modifications will resolve these issues. Yet one has to wonder about the true cost of these fixes and the long-term impact on Canada's Arctic sovereignty and naval capabilities. As we navigate through these troubled waters, it's clear that the journey ahead for the AOPS fleet will require not just physical repairs, but also a rebuilding of trust and confidence in Canada's shipbuilding and defense strategy. Stay informed, stay engaged, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more deep dives into stories that matter. This is Sun Bitcoin signing off. Peace out.